The problem is we have a failed injector hold down on an N63 engine. On the N63 engine it is very very important that the injector hold down threads are in good condition and holding the injector down firmly. If it does not it can lead to a lot of really really bad failures and even replacement of the entire cylinder head. The solution to this problem is the AGA N63 injector thread repair kit. The AGA N63 injector thread hold down repair kit is designed to work even if you have a failed time cert like this one that came out with the bolt or a helicoil that is badly installed or crooked or any of those scenarios it's large enough that it will come clean and perform a correct thread repair even after any of these types of repairs. The reason why helicoils or time certs often fail in this application is where the hole is located. As you can see with this cross section valve cover for better visibility, you can't achieve the right angle to the hole that you want to repair and it is extremely critical with any thread repair to get the angle just right. The reason why it is so critical that the injector hold down bracket is securely fastened down is to prevent the injector from moving up and down and allowing combustion chamber gases to pass through this area of the injector and extrude the injector and or the cylinder head and lead to failure and possibly replacement of the cylinder head. Because this repair is typically done with the engine in the car and the engine all together, it is extremely important that you take the time and cover up all open ports such as injector lines, spark plug holes, turbo inlet lines, etc. Use common sense. Uh, if you don't already have some, these are very inexpensive and works extremely well on the fuel rails and all the injectors and stuff that are exposed. And always remember to wear safety glasses while performing the repair. Make sure the injector holes are free of debris. You start with installing the guide tool into the two injector holes simultaneously and tightening down the knobs. Install the drill and reamer into the drill and tightly fasten. Lubricate drill reamer with WD-40 or similar before ever use. Insert the drill reamer into the drill guide. Apply pressure and start drilling. After a few seconds of drilling, pull out the guide and drill and blow clean with compressed air. This hole is not fully drilled. Continue drilling. To verify that the hole is fully drilled, measure from this surface on top of the guide to the bottom of the hole. And the measurement should be between 56 and 57 millimeters deep. In this case, 56.32. Minimal acceptable depth is 54.5 millimeter. This hole is fully drilled. If you're measuring the hole depth without the guide tool installed like this, the hole depth should be between 18 and 19 millimeters deep, in this case 18.32, with a minimal acceptable depth of 16.5 millimeter. Now we'll be doing the tapping. Apply oil to the tap, insert the tap into the guide tool, apply pressure downward with a 10 millimeter hex socket and start tapping the hole by hand. Once you've tapped the hole approximately four to five millimeters, reverse the direction and pull out the tap. Pull the tap out, slow the tap and hole clean for shaving and repeat this process. This may be needed 
two to three times to completely tap the hole. Once you reach the bottom, resistance will be felt. Stop tapping and reverse it and pull the tap out. Once the tapping is complete, make sure the area is clean and completely blown dry for any metal shavings so that they do not fall into the injector bores when you remove the tool. Degrease the threads with brake cleaner, alcohol, or similar. Blow it dry to make sure the hole is degreased and clean for debris. Install the insert onto the install tool. It will be retained by the o-ring. Apply a small amount of red Loctite to the outer threads only. Install the thread insert into the hole like this. Continue tightening until the install tool touches the top surface of the cylinder head. Pull straight back. Wipe the area clean and verify that the insert is below the surface of the cylinder head. This includes the N63 injector hold down thread repair. All there is left is letting the Loctite set up for 15 to 20 minutes. The toolkit comes including five inserts and more can be purchased separately. Also included in the kit is a full set of instructions step by step, including all the measurements I just went over in the video. To get your toolkit, go to atatools.com. As always, thanks for watching. And please remember to subscribe.